How's it going guys? So today we're going to look at getting live crypto prices and transferring them over to Excel. We're going to use the CoinGecko API to get the live crypto prices and then we're going to write our code in Python and we're going to transfer those crypto prices onto the Excel spreadsheet. Now I'm making this video at the middle of a bear market of the bull market. So everything is very down and it's been very depressing to look at, but I had to look to make this video. Um, so all I ask in exchange for my emotional sanity is that you guys give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. All right, let's get into it. All right, so we're gonna get started in our project terminal. We're going to create the project folder. So we're gonna say make directory and we're gonna call it, let's say crypto XL. Crypto XL. Okay, cool. And then let's change into that directory. So change crypto. Okay, cool. The next thing we're gonna do is create the virtual environment. Now, the virtual environment is a place where we can store all of the libraries that we need for this project. So we're gonna say Python 3-m, and then we're gonna call the virtual environment my environment, all right? So we'll just give that a second to create. Okay, cool. So the next thing we need to do is actually activate the virtual environment. So we're going to say source my nv dash bin dash activate. Wait. Okay, cool. You'll know it is activated when there's a open brackets my nv at the start. The next thing we're going to do is actually download the project dependencies for this project. So we specifically need the library for the CoinGecko API. And then we also need the library to connect to the Excel spreadsheet. So we're gonna say pip install and then pycoingecko for the CoinGecko API. All right, we'll just let that download. Okay, and then the next one is pip install open pi XL. Okay, so both of them have downloaded uh, successfully. Let's go to our Visual Studio code and then we can open the project folder. So open folder. All right, so we can just open the project. Next, we'll add a project file, so the actual Python file. So we'll call it crypto dot py okay so step number one for this project is we're going to retrieve the crypto prices from CoinGecko so step number one is retrieve crypto prices and then step two will be transfer prices to Excel All right, so we're first going to retrieve the price of the crypto, the cryptocurrencies. So we're gonna say from PyCoinGecko, PyCoinGecko, then import the PyCoinGecko API. So it's the CoinGecko API, all right? Then let's create our crypto list. So the cryptocurrency that we're interested in. So, so, so we'll say crypto underscore list is equal to, and then make a list of all of the cryptocurrencies that you're interested in. If you go onto the internet and onto CoinGecko, so let's zoom out here. Oh. All right, so this is the specific landing page if you search a specific cryptocurrency um, on CoinGecko. Now, if you look at the bottom left, there is an API ID. So this is the name that links to the cryptocurrency. So this is the exact name that you need to put in to your crypto list um, so that they know which one to find. All right, so this is gonna be Bitcoin. And then let's make the second one Ethereum. Okay, cool. Now let's write the function that will retrieve the price of the cryptocurrencies. So we'll say define crypto underscore prices. And then the input into this function will be the cryptos that we're interested in. So we'll just say cryptos. And we'll create the connection to the CoinGecko API. So we'll say CG is equal to CoinGecko API. All right. Then the response is equal to, now we'll say CG.get underscore price. So 
from the CoinGecko API, get the price. And then we have to put two inputs here. So the first one is the ID of the crypto that we want. And then the second one is the currency. So ours is going to be IDs is equal to, and then we're going to do a separate, com I mean, a comma separated list of all of the cryptos that are in our crypto list. So we're going to say dot join and then crypto, so the cryptos, right, that we pass in. Cryptos. All right. And then the second input is the currency. So we're going to say vs underscore currencies is equal to, and then we want it in USD. All right? Good. So now let's print this and see if we've successfully connected to the CoinGecko API. So we'll say print response. And then we need to run this function that we've created. So we'll just say crypto underscore prices. And then the input will be the crypto underscore list. Cool. All right, all looks good. Let's run the function and see. So I'll say Python three crypto dot py. Okay, awesome. So there's it. Bitcoin and then the USD is sixty five thousand and Ethereum and the USD is three thousand six hundred. So it looks like things are actually going up again. So let's delete this. We don't need it. Don't need to print this again. All right. So let's return the response from this function response. and then we'll call prices is equal to this function so prices is equal to this function all right so the next thing we're going to do is actually either create the excel file or open the excel file if it already exists and then we're going to add the cryptocurrency um, price update to the excel spreadsheet all right so let's give this a heading so we'll say update and create Excel. Oh. All right. So let's call the function update Excel. So define date underscore Excel. All right. And then we're going to do a try and accept block. So we're first going to try open the file with the name crypto.xlsx, which is a Excel ending and then if file doesn't exist then we're going to create it all right so we're going to say try workbook is equal to oh I realize I haven't actually imported the Excel stuff so we're going to say from open pi Excel so the library that we downloaded earlier and then we're going to import workbook and import load workbook. All right, cool. So workbook is equal to, and then load workbook. And then the name of the file will be crypto.xlsx, all right? And then if it does exist, then the sheet that we want to uh, reference, so the like tab of Excel is equal to the active workbook. I mean the active sheet. So we're going to say workbook dot active. Now we need to add the accept block. So if it doesn't exist, then create it right. So accept file not found. So if it can't find it, then we need to create a new one. So we're going to say workbook is equal to, and then open a new workbook. And then the sheet will be the first sheet. So the active sheet is equal to workbook.active. Active. Now, uh, when we create the new one, we want the first and second um, cells to have headings, right? So it's going to be the crypto name, and then it's going to be the crypto price in USD. So we're going to say sheet of A1. And that one there needs to be equal to the crypto name. So crypto name. And then sheet of B1 must be the crypto price in USD. So sheet 
B1. And then that one there is equal to the crypto price. So let's just say price and then in brackets USD. The next thing we need to do is we need to actually get a list of all of the existing cryptos that are already on the Excel spreadsheet. So when you do this uh, a few times and you constantly want to update the Excel sheet, you'll already have the first tab have the name of like Bitcoin, Ethereum. And all we want to do in that case is update the value to the right of it. Right? We don't want to add a new line of Bitcoin. So we don't want to have two Bitcoins. So we need to write code that will read the Excel sheet, see if that crypto is already on the spreadsheet. And if it is, then we'll update the value. So we'll do this with a empty list to start off with. So existing underscore cryptos, let's say crypto is equal to, and then it'll be a empty list. And then we're going to do this with a for loop, right? So we're going to iterate through each of the rows of the Excel sheet. And then if there is a value in that first column, then we're going to assign it to the existing cryptos. Currently there won't be, um, but you'll see later that once we create the file and they are active, then the code will read which ones are there. So we'll say four row in sheet, and then we're gonna iterate through the rows. So iter underscore rows. So iterate through the rows, and then start with the second row. So min underscore row, is equal to two and then max underscore column is equal to one right so then we're going to do just the first column and then the values we're going to make only only true on meaning we don't want a formula to be returned we want whatever is actually in the cell so we're going to say values underscore only is equal to true so let's just change that Cool. All right. And then the existing underscores cryptos dot append. And then the row of column zero. So column zero would be the first column. And then we want to um, append whatever the value is in there. Existing, existing crypto. All right. Cool. Now the next code we need to do is to actually update the values onto the spreadsheet. And if the cryptocurrency isn't already there, then we need to add it to the end of it. So add the crypto name and then the associated value. So we'll do this with a for loop again. So we'll say for crypto in what's the name of our dictionary. So in for crypto in crypto underscore list. So we're going to iterate through each of the cryptos that is in this list here. So if we want to add more, we can just add more here. The price will equal to the prices of the crypto in USD. So crypto and then the currency is USD. All right. So this will return the actual price of whatever the first item in the crypto list is. And then it'll go through it iteratively. Now we'll write an if statement to say if the crypto is in the crypto existing crypto list. So if it's already there, then we're just going to update the value to the right of it. All right. So if crypto in existing underscore crypto. So what we'll do is we'll iterate through each row. We'll see which row has got that crypto value. And then if the if it is the correct uh, crypto, so if Bitcoin is in fact in that cell, then we're going to change the value to the right of it. So the price column. So for row in sheet dot iterate underscore rows. And then we'll start with the second uh, row and the maximum column that we're interested in is up to the second. So the one with the price. So min underscore row is equal to two. And then the max column is also equal to two. All right, cool. So then if the row of zero dot value is double equal to crypto, so same crypto name, then we need to update the price on the first, uh, on the second column, right? So then row of one dot value 
is equal to the price. Cool. So that'll update that. And then we can break out of this if that is true. All right, notice the double equal. So this is a testing to say if the row of value is in fact equal to something. And then the second with the single equal is actually assigning the value. All right. Now, if this isn't the case and the crypto isn't in the existing list, then we need to actually append it to the end of it. So then we want to add the crypto name and the price. So we'll say else sheet dot append and then the crypto as well as the price. Crypto comma price. All right, cool. So the last thing we need to do is actually save the workbook. So we're going to say work book and then dot save and then the name we want to save it under. So it'll be crypto dot XLSS. All right, cool. So let's run this code and see. So Python three crypto DY. Okay, so let's go to our file explorer. All right, cool. So there we have it, the Excel spreadsheet. So let's open it and see if the values have updated. Okay, awesome. So there's Bitcoin and there's Ethereum. So let's try add another cryptocurrency. So let's say Chainlink. Chainlink. And see if it appends it. All right, so let's just close this Excel sheet and then run the function. Right, then we can go back, open the Excel sheet again. And awesome, there's the chain link, right? So it didn't repeat the Bitcoin and Ethereum. All right, guys, and that is how you take live crypto price and transfer it over to Excel. If you got any value from this video, please subscribe to the channel. And if you would like me to make any specific video, then leave a comment and I will try to get to it. Awesome.